Registered Phenomena Code 574 Object Class Beta White Hazard Types None Containment Protocols RPC-574 is mainly self-containing, but reports of a similar phenomenon are to be covered up. Specific attention needs to be paid to reports of speaking to dead loved ones, though unlikely, if 574 becomes widely known by the public through media, its effects would be disastrous on global normalcy. Amnestics are unnecessary for individuals formerly affected by RPC-574 due to its effect. Description. RPC-574 denotes a phenomenon that affects individuals living alone, generally over the age of 25. Subjects affected have no current line of contact with a grandfather. RPC-574 tends to affect individuals with a history of neglect, abuse, depressive symptoms, and suicidal thoughts more frequently. RPC-574 affected individuals will spontaneously remember a phone number that they attribute to belonging to their grandfather. This memory will retroactively insert itself into the memory of the affected individual. The individual will view the number as always being there, and generally will not see it as out of the ordinary. Individuals will also believe that they have not spoken to their grandfather in a long time. Regardless of the grandfather's behavior towards the subjects in life, Individuals affected by RPC-574 have noted to have positive emotions towards their grandfather, often resulting in the decision to call RPC-574. After dialing the number, the individual will be greeted by an entity speaking in the voice of their grandfather, hereby designated RPC-574-1, and will then proceed to have a conversation with the entity, ranging from five minutes to two hours. RPC-574-1 knows everything about the individual affected by RPC-574, often recalling information that the subject's grandfather remains or was unaware of. During this conversation, RPC-574-1 will act in accordance to the way individuals expect for them to act, but no matter how the grandfather was or is in real life, RPC-574-1 is very kind towards the subject it speaks to, expressing their pride as the individual, no matter where they are in life, as well as giving various pieces of advice, which has shown to always be completely accurate. When the phone call ends, individuals report raised morale and self-worth. Over the course of around two months after the call finishes, the individual will slowly begin to forget about their conversation with RPC-574-1 save for the advice that was given in the call. Positive emotions gained from the call, however, do not subside. When the memory of the call is lost, individuals temporarily report feeling a sense of melancholy. If the individual affected by RPC-574 does not choose to call the number within a year of RPC-574 affecting them, a voicemail will be sent to a phone the individual owns and the phone number will subsequently remove itself from the individual's memory. The voicemail will be labeled with the grandfather's preferred method of referral and will be identified being sent by the individual's grandfather. Upon hearing the voicemail, affected individuals will feel regret at not calling the number. The voicemail will then subsequently delete, and the individual's memory of it will fade. File 574.1 Interview Log Date, May 2, 1989 Interviewer, Senior Agent Zoran Gokovic Interviewee, RPC-574-1 Note, Agent Gokovic's grandfather purportedly took his life long before Gokovic was born. Gokovic was an orphan. He was noted to be under the effects of RPC-574 when a co-worker whom he had confided with was told by him that he hasn't called his grandfather in a while. During the test, he was supplied with some questions to ask the entity, but breached protocol due to RPC-574's effects. Begin Log Gokovic dials the number. The sound of a phone picking up can be heard as the call begins. RPC-574-1 speech is in Serbian, which Gokovic is fluid in. 
Be there in just a minute. Hello? Who is this? Hey, Grandpa. Gokovic was briefed on the effects of RPC-574 before the interview, and was breaking protocol, most likely due to RPC-574's effects. Ah, uh, is that little Zaki? Yes, Grandpa, it's me. Uh, oh, it's so good to hear from you again. Why don't you call more? Uh, Gokovic shuffles in place. Sorry. Oh, don't be sorry, Zaki. I know your work is hard. You're tougher than I ever was. It is tiring, but it pays well. How's your… health? Same old Zaki. Back hurts, leg hurts. Don't worry. I'm an old fart anyways. Don't worry about me. Are you still drinking? Zaki, not this again. Grandpa, at your age, the most you can drink is a little red wine without hurting your liver. RPC-574-1 laughs. Zaki, you're not little Zaki anymore. Look at you. So thoughtful. Please don't avoid the question. RPC-574-1 pauses. Fine. For you, Zaki. Stop worrying so much. Your hair will fall out. Even more than it already has. Huh. <laughs> Alright. RPC-574-1 sighs. Zaki, I barely see you anymore these days. I am so proud of you. You're the pride of the family, you know. Don't tell your brother this, but you're my favorite grandchild. Thanks. Look at you, traveling across the world, helping all these good people. If Jana was still with us, bless her soul, she'd chatter out the ears of all our neighbors with her bragging. It really isn't that mu- Your Serbian's getting worse, though. Is it living in America for so long? Gokovic looks visibly uncomfortable. Well, I've been… practicing. It's a bit hard. I don't have many people to speak it to. Practice some more if you can, okay? It is your ancestry, after all. I will. Gokovic clears his throat. Where are… you these days? You want to visit? Ah, oh, sorry. I'm in a good place. Lots of lights, Zaki. You wouldn't believe the number of lights they put here. We might have to stop talking, Zaki. Researchers begin to approach Gokovic to remind him of the test. Why? The signal here is awful. Before I go, though, here's some advice from a man who was quite the lady killer when he was younger. Amelia's a good catch, Zaki. Hang on to her if you can. What? Sorry, the signal's cutting out. Don't forget to, inaudible, call again. See you later. The call ends. End log. Note, after the interview, Gokovic began to consider pursuing his current significant other, Amelia Dubin, more seriously. As of now, they have been married for over thirty years and have reported no difficulties. File 574.2 Voicemail sent by RPC-574 Hey Jordan, you haven't called in a while. You're busy and that's good. I'm so proud of you. Inaudible. Just wanted to let you know that if you're in a tough spot, your parents may not trust you, but I'll always be here, as long as I am able to keep speaking. Call soon, okay?